Hey there, I'm Josh Goldman with CNET, and while camera makers, for the most part, are concentrating on working with smartphones and not against them, Samsung has joined the mobile love fest more than others by putting Android in what would be an otherwise good but fairly ordinary point-and-shoot camera with the Galaxy Camera and now its follow-up, the cleverly named Galaxy Camera 2. Uh, it really isn't too different from the original with a 21x zoom lens, 16 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, and giant 4.8 inch HD touchscreen. There are a couple of design changes for the better, uh, including a larger battery pack and a pop-up flash that can be tilted back for bouncing. Uh, the camera's photo and video quality and shooting performance are very good for what you're getting. Uh, but if those are your main concerns, there are a lot of options at and around its $450 price. This camera is really about Android 4.3 and the flexibility it brings to the shooting and sharing experience. Don't want to use the modes or filters and effects Samsung includes? No problem, you've got a whole world of Android apps to tap into. Want to edit before sharing on your choice of sites? Uh, the big screen and smooth performance make it easy. Uh, with its built-in Wi-Fi, you could tether to your smartphone to upload straight from the camera or create a direct connection between the two and send your photos straight to your device. Uh, the two also has NFC, so pairing with Android smartphones is pretty painless, and you can tap the two together to quickly send a picture to your phone. You can check out the full review on CNET.com, but despite being a modest update, if having Android apps on a camera is a no-brainer to you, well, then this is for you. Uh, I'm Josh Goldman, and that's a look at the Samsung Galaxy Camera 2.